Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Today, we're going to up our game in the thermometer department. Meat Stick sent me a thermometer, the Meat Stick X. They asked me to give it a try, take a look, set it up, see what I thought about it. So let's see what the, what's in the box. Okay. So we've got the Meat Stick X, which is uh, the Pro, and it's got this charging station and it's also an extender for the Wi-Fi. With this one you can get many many feet away from your cook and still know what's happening in the oven or the grill or the you know burner whatever you're cooking on. So that's where these come in real handy. I think the main thing I'm going to like about this is the fact that there's no wires. Uh, it senses the internal temperature and the external temperature, the ambient temperature. There's no wires to hook up. If you want to do a rotisserie, you can just stick this in like a chicken and it can be spinning around and making all that goodness and you'll be in the house watching football and seeing how it's doing. The meat stick instructions. I stuck it on the printer and I blew it up and printed it out. Okay, the meat stick. First time setup, it goes through that. It tells you how to place the stick in the, in the charger. It goes through how to place it into the meat and cooking it and all that stuff so be sure to look up these instructions and go ahead and go through them they, they really are important for example it says uh, exceeding the recommended temperature may damage the stick if not within a heat source the stick will turn off in 30 minutes so there's some good information like that now this one will go internal temperature up to 212 and external temperature up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit which from my research is a, is a good bit hotter like maybe 50 or more degrees hotter than the competitors version of this product so uh, that's an improvement so be sure to read understand and follow all the directions that come with your meat stick now when you get it what you're going to do is you're going to take the back off like that and put uh, two AA batteries in it. Don't do what I did. I put these in actually the first time. I didn't pay close enough attention to it. And I put these in backwards. I'll tell you why I did that. And you know how most battery compartments have a little spring inside of them and that goes on the flat side of the battery? Well, this looked like it had a little spring in there. So I just stuck them in there. And after about five minutes, this thing started heating up. So guys, pay attention. There's a plus and a minus sign right here. And the plus side, the post side, actually goes that direction. So be sure to pay attention to that. So we just drop these in here like so, down on there like so, and we're done. And then there's a button on top that you push and the green light will come on. But what they want you to do is go ahead and put your batteries in there, place your meat stick in there, push the button and let this charge for about four hours and it'll charge right off those AA batteries. So while that's charging up a little bit, which I've actually already charged it, but while that's going on, let's take a look at the phone app. You just open up your phone, Face ID, it's a wonderful thing. But I've already downloaded the app, so it says connection lost. Your meat stick has lost connection with your phone. Okay, so I'm going to okay. I don't want to rate it yet. Let's go back here. And let's go to extender, setup extender next, and press the button to switch on the extender. So we're going to do that. And we're going to go next. And you will see the extender icon on the now cooking page. Next. Place your extender within six feet of the stick that is cooking to have a good connection. Okay. All right, so we did that. Now we're gonna go to now cooking and we're gonna do set up cook. So we're gonna set up the cook. There's a quick start and then there's past cooks. So we're gonna do the quick start. So quick start and my target internal today is going to be 165 so it's at 165 that's good and then my target ambient is going to be 325 so we'll go 325 it's a little touchy guys 330 or 
but he might be my big phone bill in the fingers is what's touching that. 325, got it. Okay, next. Scanning, creating, cook. Insert completely. We're almost there. Insert completely and then start cooking. Most people would think of this as suitable for a chicken on a grill. Absolutely. A steak or a roast or some prime rib or a lot of different things that you can cook on your grill, in your smoker. It's perfect for that. It's also good for indoor cooking, like if you're cooking something in the oven. Maybe you're cooking in a toaster oven. We're going to cook a sriracha ketchup meatloaf in our toaster oven. It's going to be delicious. Stick around. Let's try it out. Let's start out with some dried onions that I've rehydrated. I really like these body up dried onions. When you rehydrate them, they're really good. But you know, there's something about the flavor that's different than freshly ground onions. I think it's a stronger flavor and I like using them in my cooks. So we're going to put that right there into where the meatloaf's going and we're going to put some soy sauce in there. Good bit. Eh, glug, glug, glug. About 20 gloves of soy sauce. We got some Worcestershire sauce. Oh, about 10 gloves of that. And we got some chunky garlic. That ought to be good. So about an inch and a half of that, two inches. Okay, get that. Some ketchup, like so, and some sriracha. That's the good stuff. All right, like that. We've got a couple of eggs. So let's stir this all up. All right, now let's put our breadcrumbs in there, and they're just plain old panko, original panko Publix breadcrumbs. Yeah, about that much. Stir that around. Now let's put our sausage in there. And then we'll put our ground beef in there. This is about two pounds of ground beef, pound per each package. So we'll drop that in that one and drop that in there. Now for the fun part. Let's spray some Pam in the pan. All right, all we gotta do now is spoon it in there. Make sure we don't have any air pockets. Put some ketchup on top and make like a glaze. Like so. And then more sriracha, yeah, to improve the glaze. What do you think? Looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we're ready to set up the cook. So I'm gonna go set up the cook and we're gonna go quick start on the cook internal target of 165 and the target ambient at 325. We're going to adjust our temp alerts here. Early warning for the internal temp is 160. Target warning is 165. So that's good. So we're done there and save. Creating cook. We're almost there. Start cooking. Let's put our thermometer in right there. So the target temperature is 165. This says that it's currently 74. And the target temperature is 325 for the inside of the oven. And this says it's 78 right there. So I think we're ready to start cooking. First, we'll, we'll put this in there. Right there. And this is on bake at 325. The meat stick thermometer really worked good. I got to tell you, when that alarm for the 160 degree went off. It was a klaxon bell. It sounded like called a general quarters. I mean, it was loud, <laughs> kind of fun. And then when the uh, cook was done, I got a different alarm. So it really came out good. Uh, I, can, I, could, I could tell the temperature as it was rising. I could check the amb ambient temperature. The whole cook ended up taking about 50 minutes. Overall, guys, that thing is awesome and it's easy to use. I really recommend that you check out their website. Pick one up, you can get a discount. I'll put a link in the description. Now we'll just take that out. And this is waterproof, so I'll wash that in a little bit. But hey, let's try out our meatloaf here. It looks very good. 
we'll just take and cut cut ourselves off a piece. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is a tasty meatloaf. It's got some spice to it from the sriracha, sweetness from the ketchup, saltiness from the soy sauce, and meatiness from the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Sauce. That, that brown sauce. It's good. Hey guys, thanks for watching today and stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave. Thanks.